There are a number of wonderful works about true biblical reformation written by both the reformers and the Puritans. And this next work that we've been working on by Stephen Marshall, who was a Westminster divine, very well respected in his day, is called Reformation and Desolation. It was a work taken from 2 Kings 23, 25 to 26. It surrounded Josiah's Reformation, how they had lost God's word, and they had then found the book of the law, read it to the king, and Josiah rent his clothes in thinking about all that they had not done concerning God's true religion. So Josiah then enacted a revival of religion and tore down all of the altars, got rid of all of the wicked practices, and instead instituted God's true religion. But there is a difference, Stephen Marshall says, about Reformation versus desolation. The reason that he uses this particular scripture, not only to describe what Reformation is truly about for you and I, but when Josiah died, the Reformation ended and the people became wicked and again enacted false worship, idolatry, and all manner of religious abomination before God. And Marshall says, you see, it doesn't matter how it begins. It matters how it ends, how it continues in the lives and the practice of the people. Because if Reformation doesn't continue, then the wrath of God comes. And he will enact desolation over Reformation. And he shows how even though it was Josiah, and Josiah had great success in Reformation, and God blessed him greatly, the moment that he died, it all ended. It came to nothing. What kind of desolation will come if Reformation is not continued? Josiah died, and the Reformation died with him. What does that say for what's happening in our church, in our countries today? The church is all over the country. There are churches everywhere. I pass 187 churches. That's a specific number of churches. I pass 187 churches to get to a church where I know worship is going to be done in accordance with the Bible and preaching is going to be done in accordance with the Bible. Did you visit all of it? Yes. Talked to people, visited, sat in worship services. The church is everywhere all over the country, and yet I live in the Bible Belt. Where is the ripple, just a ripple, from the churches across our country to enact true biblical worship, to enact a revival of religion? Marshall exhorts us, exhorts us thoroughly because the revival of religion begins with you and me. It begins with individuals in the church. It then begins and overflows into the family. It then goes overflowing into the community and into the church. And in that church revival then will ultimately break out unless the people's hearts are not settled for true reformation to take place. Do you see the importance of this topic? especially in light of what we need concerning the revival of religion today with all the garbage that's out there and the poor preaching and the bad theology. Marshall's work is so important. I would encourage you. It's not a long work, but it is a very poignant work because he shows you you're going to experience one or the other. And we're dangerously close, coming out of Reformation, to experience desolation. This work is available 
right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www.puritanpublications.com. This book is available both in ebook and in print form. And I would encourage you to study this topic along with Stephen Marshall that we might be excited again about that which God has placed in our hands and that we might see a true revival of the Reformation that we already possess before it's too late. May the Lord bless you as you read and study along with Stephen Marshall.